that's TDD or test driven development in a nutshell, where you follow that red green refactor process of writing the test, make sure that it's some type of red, then implementing the bare minimum amount of code to make it pass or turn green. And then lastly, refactor if you want to, if you can think of something. And as you do more and more code, you have all these tests that enforce those requirements. And so you know if you broke something elsewhere. Really are forced to think about your API as your requirements grow. You've seen here where we had we got really lucky in that we could construct something with a limit and enforce it. We were creating a LIFO queue where we pass in, it's like an array, but you pass in some kind of limit if you want. Otherwise, it's unbounded, very similar to an array in JavaScript. And when we add items to it, we check for nulls, which we think are empty strings, and we remove the item if it is a duplicate, so we don't allow duplicates. And then we add it to the beginning, so it's a LIFO queue. It's always the first in, first out, like a browser history. And then if there is no limit, school, we're good, but otherwise we enforce those limits. There could be even broader strokes of refactoring. Now that you have this wonderful set of you know seven tests in place to test all your requirements that we have at the top here, you could refactor this to have maybe an internal array and then maybe an internal set as well. So it handles those duplicates and it doesn't matter what data type it is. You wouldn't have to worry about is null handling null or undefined. So there's a lot of opportunities for speed, maybe readability and things like that you could do if you want to even refactor more. Actually a better time to do it because you have so many tests in an API public API that you feel good about. Now, I just want to point out here that it's really hard to do TDD development if you don't have requirements. You have to have some basic set of requirements to know what the heck you're doing. What are you testing? What are we trying to accomplish? A lot of people find problems with doing TDD. They find it hard because they don't know how to write the test first because they don't know what the code's supposed to do. And sometimes that's completely natural, even if you do have requirements, just because they're very complex and you have to play around. So that's where you can write code and play. You can use the REPL. Right, you can go in Node and experiment and learn some code, and that's fine too. You can use those tools. So that's again test-driven development in a nutshell, and specifically for object-oriented programming in a dynamically typed language, in this case JavaScript. I hope it helps. Hope it learned something. I hope you got excited about TDD and seeing how it can improve your code, how it can give you some really good feelings later on. You want to refactor. You should feel good about changing code that's been around for a while, not scared because you have these tests to help you out. And I have no types, right? And these tests are going to help me out there. Again, my name is Jesse Warden. You got any other questions, feel free to hit it in the comments. I try to respond to everyone. And I'm also Jester Excel on Twitter if you feel more comfortable to talk there. Thank you so much for your time.